Do be seated and welcome to our children's focus on this bright and sunny morning. Welcome to any visitors we have here and welcome to those watching online today or later in the week. I'm going to read some song words to you first. They're written for the roots material that the children have and follow. There is a tune, but I'm not going to attempt to sing it because it's a children's song and it's one that we haven't sung for a long time. But the words are fitting for the theme. This story's so big, so good and amazing. It tells us that Jesus is King. Transforming his face, his clothes and his body so everyone knows he is King. Yes, Jesus is good, his love is so good, his acts are amazing and new. This story is so big, so good and amazing, it tells us that Jesus is King. Now, talking to the children and grown-ups as well, how many of you have been up a mountain? Anyone? A few of you. Well, if you have never been, I'd like you to imagine now what it may be like and how you might feel. In today's passage, we hear about Jesus going up a mountain and what happened. This story is called the Transfiguration, and transfiguration means complete change of appearance into a more beautiful look. Jesus went up a higher mountain with some of his closest friends, Peter, James, and John. And when they got to the top, Jesus' appearance suddenly changed. His face shone brightly and his clothes dazzled white. So he was, wearing, he was wearing white clothes. I don't have a torch, but can you imagine his clothes and his face was shining like that. Suddenly, Moses and Elijah, they were important people from the Old Testament, appeared and they were talking to Jesus. And Peter spoke to Jesus, asking if he could make three shelters, one for each of them. And then a bright cloud moved over them and a voice spoke, This is my son. I am so pleased with him. Listen to him. Peter, James and John were frightened and fell to the ground. Jesus then came over to them, touching and comforting them and saying, Get up. Don't be afraid. They got up, looked around, and Moses and Elijah had vanished. So James, Peter, and John, and Jesus went back down the mountain together. Jesus asked them not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man was raised from the dead. Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. He was describing that he was going to die and come back to life. And only then could the disciples tell other people what they had seen. Now I want you to imagine yourself now, what it might have been like up that mountain with Jesus, and how you would have felt. Would you have been excited, frightened, scared? What would you say or do? How do you think the disciples felt? Do you think they would have wanted to tell the rest of the disciples about their experience? I'll leave those thoughts with you to think about this week. And children, you will hear more about this story in junior church today. Jesus is a wonderful and blessed gift that we have, and we don't have to go up a mountain to see it. We can have special times with Jesus in lots of different places. Children, do you have a special place at home where you like to think about Jesus and feel close to him, where you might read your Bible and pray. If, you're a par if your parents allow it, you might be able to make a prayer den, maybe in your bedroom or a quiet corner of a room. You could use blankets or sheets and cushions, maybe lay some, some pictures around as well to help you focus. Now, I'd like to invite the children up and watch what I'm going to do now. You might... Okay, so we have a glass of water, and I'm going to put some salt into it. What can you see? What does it look like? Cloudy. <laughs> Cloudy water. <laughs> okay. So now it's supposed to, if 
you leave it to stand for a while, it will go clear. And even though we can't see the salt, it's there. It's part of the water. In the same way, even if we have times when we don't feel close to God, he's with us. And when we ask God to be with us, he will be close. So if we leave that till later, it probably was during junior church, that salt will completely dissolve. So the water will be clear. We're going to say a prayer now. So if you would like to join in the last line with me, okay? When everything is going well and we feel happy, or when we are unsure or unsettled, when things are difficult and things seem dark, thank you, God, that we can be close to you. Amen.